हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय क्लास ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ इन लास्ट वीडियो स्टूडेंट वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट एस क्यू एल विथ पाइथन आई मीन टू से हाउ टू इंटरफेस पाइथन विथ एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम आई एम टू से वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू परफॉर्म द इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट क्वेरीज एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल कम्प्लीट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो डिस्प्ले डेटा बाई फैच वन फैच ऑल एंड रो काउंट At last, we will do the creating database connectivity application. In that, we can perform overall application, I am to say, operation of database by Python program. So let's begin. In which we are going to understand performing insert, update, and delete query. So as you know, we have already created created a particular program in earlier video. That is simple coding is there in which I am going to access all the data. You can see this data has been opened like that. in a form of list and then after that we are going to understand how to work with mysql so if i'll just open the mysql interface in front of you so you can see i'll type the root password here then i will say show databases then you can see there are few databases are there so if i'm going to just uh, Delete a database. I am to say. <clears throat> so here you can see, student. Here are few database. Now, student, we are going to see what is in my MySQL. So now I am going to just open MySQL command line. and that i will type the my root password as you know what was my password and then i am going to show database so here you can see Now, student, I'm going to start a MySQL interface in the front row. <clears throat> Now, student, I'm going to open MySQL interface in front of you, which will show you how many database I have, and how I will create the database through this particular program. So, you have to just type MySQL, and then after that, you have to click on SQL command line as you done previously, and type your root password. and here you have to type show database then you can see here are four database that is information schema mydb mysql and test so so then i am going to just create the database through my application so what i will do simply in earlier program i will just delete this particular content and i will type here cursor dot execute inside that within double code i will simply create uh, create database database name suppose that tata and i am going just to run it so you can see here is message has been come that is connected so as well as connected i can show here process complete i can say print within a uh, double code i will type here process is completed okay so in this time if i'll run it again it will show me definitely error why because this database already created so it consider that an object time to say structure is created only once so that's why in earlier com compilation time it has shown so now you can see tata is one of the database that i have created just now now i can use that so how it will be possible you have to just click on this and uh, type here database we are using tata in this case what we are going to do i am going to make it command i am to say comment because i am already created database so in this case simply i will just run it and it will show me 
process is completed and connected okay and now if i'm just going to type here a command that is to create a database inside that okay it will again create a database but uh, i have already created a database so i will definitely use a database so what i will do student i will definitely type here cursor execute within that use that mean to say my database that is tata so you can see completed and then after that i will say how to create a table so you will just type cursor then execute inside that you have to use same command that you have used in earlier video in sql videos so here create table then after that table name suppose that my table name is yahoo for simple here is sr number so sr number as integer and then comma then uh, s name as where care whose space suppose that 20 and then, then after that uh, we can say address or phone number so address then again where care suppose that uh, 50 we can say now i'm going to just create it so just run it and now it will show you process is completed and now i'm going to check in sql also whether this particular table or database is created or not as we see this particular tata tata is already created so i will definitely use here tata and then after that you can see i will type here show tables now you can see yahoo is created by this particular command you can see i have just type create table yahoo sr number s name address where care this one and now i can show you table like this select star from definitely my table name is yahoo then you can see there is no record because it is empty set so once the object is created i am to say data in database object is created it will never create it again if i will run it again it will show me definitely error okay so i will make it comment now i am going to just insert some value inside that i am going to say record or tuple inside that so i will do one thing cursor then execute inside that i will definitely type a command that you already know that is insert command so i will type here insert into table name is yahoo then values within that i will type the value serial number suppose that one and the uh, s name within single quote i will type uh, suppose that kamal sharma and then uh, comma address suppose that address is uh, pithoragarh okay after this student we are going to check whether our output has come or not so what we are going to do we are going to simply just type the select star from yahoo now you can see there is empty set why because after committing this particular command we have to just simply use that is my connection you can see this my connection variable object then after that commit commit actually a particular command whatever we have done as a inserting record deleting record this one thing we have to commit it otherwise it will not affect in our database so now you can just run it now you can see the process is completed and now we are going to check the same whether data record has come or not so now you can see one kamal sharma pithoragarh so as i input here there is one number one kamal sharma pithoragarh so if i'll just change the another one command i'm to say here suppose that roll number here is 2 and uh, i will delete the first record i am to say name jay kumar and suppose he is also from pithoragarh and commit so now i am going to just run it now you can see connected and i can see this particular record in this particular also now first record is kamal sharma second one is jay kumar same thing uh, if i am going to just insert another record like roll number 3 suppose that himmat singh and he uh, he is from almora 
so now you have to just run it now you can see i am going to check you can see kamal sharma jay kumar himmat singh same way you can enter another record here roll number 4 suppose that ramesh singh he is from dehradun just interpret it and now you can see what will our output so four record has come here ramesh singh from dehradun okay student so in this video student we have understand how to create a database how to use the database actually this use database is uh, not compulsory because we are using here tata as a database we are mentioning in connection statement we are what database we are using we can create a data and i am say table then we have understand how to insert the particular what thing record so in this particular video we have understand how to insert details also how to create table also i hope student you are doing practice well till then student thank you and uh, have a nice day